Dr. Kanji Murangi re-emphasized innovation, artificial intelligence, as well as technical and vocational education and training as pillars that can drive the country's development. She also highlighted hydrogen and decarbonizing as other requisites. With identified universities and technical institutions across the globe to deepen requisite theoretical and practical knowledge, competencies and skills for grounding or rather for grounded specialization. Namibia has a youth population dividend of more than 65% of the country's population, providing a gateway to transforming this eco demographic dividend into an economic opportunity through provision of relevant quality education and leveraging digital skills with a specific focus on AI technologies to optimize opportunities for sustainable exploration of our country's natural resources, job creation, and overall development. The ministry has allocated an amount of more than $9 million to UNAM, more than $5 million to NAST, and $1.6 million to NASFAF. She further revealed that the ministry has secured a land to develop a student's village. Effective utilization of the allocated $87 million for capital projects will see the completion and start of some of our projects. The ministry secured the necessary vacant land and will be will begin planning for the construction of the student village. Planning has already, I must say, commenced to enlist the services of a potential investor and that is expected to come into operation during the current medium term expenditure framework period. The minister stated that education and training is a shared responsibility and called on the private sector to play its part.